happy new year so i made the two ingredient biscuit y'all and it wasn't as difficult as i thought it would be thank y'all so much for joining me i hope that you stay tuned to see how i did this and i also did a bonus with the salmon and the grits so stay tuned and if you are new go ahead and subscribe to the channel turn on your post notifications and like the video hey y'all welcome back to the channel um thank you for being here on tommy bites Carolina Homestead. Today I'm trying something new. It's Granny Karma's two ingredient biscuits. I've been pulling this off for a while now and what better time than the new year to go ahead and get it done. So what I'm doing here is adding two cups of flour to my bowl. And to the two cups of flour, I will be adding two cups of the heavy whipping cream. My oven is set to 400 degrees preheating. So I'm going to pour this two cups of whipping cream a little bit at a time. Use my fork to mix it around until all the whipping cream is in the bowl. As you're mixing the two ingredients in the bowl, you'll start to see it come together and it's gonna become a doughy consistency. If it's a little too wet, you can always add a little extra flour to the bowl till you get it to your liking. So y'all, now you gotta get your hands in. You just have to do it. You can't use the fork the whole way. Don't be afraid to get the dough on your hand. It's gonna stick. Just add flour to your hands and keep going. So mine is still a little wet. So I added all in all about half a cup, maybe a little less, three fourths a cup, more flour and just kept mixing it until it wasn't sticky anymore so this was the consistency i was going for with the dough now i'm going to take some flour and i'm going to add it to my counter and this is because you don't want it to stick to your counter and you also don't want it to stick to your hands so although this is a two ingredient biscuit by granny karma i'm gonna add these butter slices to the mix because i saw peggy do this and her biscuits looked so buttery and i love buttery biscuits and because it was sticking a little bit to my hands i decided to add some more flour to my hands and on the dough itself before i put it on the counter to be rolled out so I was playing with my dough a little bit because it was very relaxing. Now I'm just going to grab my roller pin and get busy. And please don't forget to put the flour on your rolling pin. Also, because I don't care for thick biscuits, I'm rolling mine a little extra. You don't have to roll it as much. But if you want a flatter biscuit, you do. So the next time I do it, I won't roll it as much because my husband and son were like, I love these biscuits, but can you make them bigger the next time? So that's what I'll be doing the next time. Lesson learned. I'm just going to see me putting this loud. I'm telling you, you're cleaning that up. Where you going to go? Just like I wouldn't have to do so much voice over you didn't cuss every two seconds. So because I don't have a cutter, I'm using my ball cannon jar. I'm just going to press down. I'm not going to twist it because I don't want to mess up the circle that I'm creating. And I'm just going to make all of these will yield smaller biscuits. 
you might want to add some flour to the rim of the jar or cup whatever you're using so it doesn't stick to the dough so i'm using a cast iron skillet that i sprayed with some um, non-stick spray and i'm just going to put these in here making sure that they touch you want to make sure you use all of the dough so you're going to just going to wrap it back up in a ball roll it out put some flour on it and cut out some more biscuits so for bigger biscuits i'm using a wider rim mug and i'm just going to press down after i roll it out So you're just going to repeat the same steps until all your dough is gone. And you're going to put these in the oven on 400 degrees. I had to bake mine for 23 minutes. Um, each oven is different, so just take your time. So the biscuits are in the oven at 400 degrees. And now it's time for me to get to cleaning so I can move on to the next step. So this is bonus footage. I'm about to make some grits and i just added some heavy whipping cream to some water some salt some pepper to taste so now we're going to add our grits to the pot and then we're going to chop up some onions to go in the salmon that i'm going to make to go over the grits So now I'm going to add some brown gravy mix to the can, add some water, stir it up, and pour it into the salmon. So a half a cup of brown sugar. So the first round of biscuits are done. I'm about to plate them up and then... Time to put the last batch into the oven. Now, the reason I made mine so flat is because I like to make sandwiches out of mine. I would just take two separate biscuits, put a sausage patty in between, and I'm good to go. But my son, my husband, they like them thick, so that's how I'll do them. So now I'm about to plate my food so that I can eat breakfast. Well, we can eat breakfast. Happy New Year, and I just want to say thank y'all for joining me here on Tommy Bites Carolina Homestead. And this wasn't as difficult as I thought to make those two ingredient biscuits. I will be doing it more, and I hope you do it as well. Leave me some comments down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on your post notifications, and like the video. I want to do it all with you by my side. If you're in need, me here tonight. Raven, come along, I'll be your light Promise we don't need no big lights We can travel the world, so just say yes